So I figured I would do an update on my coral QT since uh, I added a, a few corals into my main display and I added a few more into my, my quarantine. So this is one of my new torches. Uh, they called it a uh, Miami Hurricane. So it's got dark purple tentacles with pink tips and a green base. Sometimes you can really see the base. Uh, you can kind of see it there but it's it's kind of weird that the whoever put it on the plug put it like crooked so it's got two big heads and all you can really see is the one because the other one's down and it's like against the the crate um so i'm gonna have to take it off and reposition it on the frag but it's it's really cool um when when it, it gets hit with the the flow and you can see the mouth it's it's pretty cool because it's really bright green um, you can kind of see little hints of it in there, but uh, So that's my Miami hurricane. I got the two torches. I still had in there GSP my Lobo is still there um, This guy's actually gotten decent size. He was a tiny little guy when I got him. This is my Hellfire So it's got a green base as well. It's got purple tentacles with orange stripes. It's pretty cool um, so here I have I really wasn't gonna do softies because um, I'm I'm really not interested in rapid growth. I wanna I, I wanna grow with the, I want the tank to grow you know as it grows. I'm not and from what I've heard softies grow really really fast. Um, so we'll we'll see. Um, but this guy I just I don't know I, something about him I just couldn't help myself. So I got the it's called the Japanese toadstool leather. Um, and I have, I do have a couple mushrooms, so I mean, I guess I do have softies, but this, this guy was pretty cool. So we'll see. And it's, it's already grown in the two weeks I've had it. So and they, I guess they do grow pretty quick, but, um, hopefully it doesn't get too big and I can put it in an area where it can get as big as it wants, I guess. Um, I don't remember if I had the Duncans in my last video, um, but I, I believe I had one and I got two more. But just because I want to fill a rock up with these Duncans. And uh, I, I like the different varieties. So this guy is all purple. Um, this one's mostly green with a little bit of purple. And then this one's mostly all green. A uh, tiny bit of purple around the tips and the mouth. So just I like the diversity of colors within the species. Um, and then moving on to this Blasto I had in there. I got another one that's a little darker. Um, again, just diversity of color. Oh, it's backwards. The snails must have turned it around. Well, it's got two big, large heads in the front and then these two in the back. Um, this one is another red and uh, uh, green. It's different than the, the other larger red one I have because it's got purple. It's it's not open all the way. The, the lights just came on a little while ago, but it's got purple ring around the green. Um, that's pretty cool. So it's a little different than the one I already have. And then this orange one was just so cool. This is the only orange Blasto I think I've ever seen. I don't think I've ever seen a video. Well, I should look through the, the, the there's a post on r to r that has a bunch of pictures of Blastos and they probably have a few, but this is the only orange one that I've actually seen personally. So I thought it was really cool. It's only three heads, it's a little guy. Actually, I think it's like four or five because there's little ones in between, um, but uh, I really liked it, so I had to get it. Uh, and then I got another A-can. This is a little guy, only I think five heads. Two, three, four. I think there's one more in the back. Um, as opposed to, I mean, the ones I have are like tw over 20 heads. They're huge. But I figured I'd get this one again. Diversity, different colors. It's got red with the green ring and the purple in it. So it's, it's pretty cool. I liked it a lot. Um, these guys, so here's the story. I've had a hard time keeping candy cane corals. I don't know why, and I really want them. I don't. I mean, they're they're cheap and they're they're beginner corals, but apparently, I have a hard time keeping them because they always melt in this QT. And I think I figured out it's either the light or the flow because I usually kept them in this area over here, um, not when the torches were there because of course the torches would sting them. But and as you could tell, everything's pretty far away from these torches, and that one's still trying to reach. Um, so there's a whole area I can't put anything in, but I mean, it's, it's worth it because I love my torches. Um, but anyway, so they would always melt and these two, they're two different uh, corals. One's two heads and one's like five or four, four. 
but they melted as well so they were all that green was all gone and i figured oh, I'll, I'll move them and see you know if i can get them to grow so i moved them over here where the lights a lot lower so i mean as you can tell the lights right in the middle so over here off to the side it's a lower par and it's not getting a lot of flow because the power head circulating um so and they actually started to grow back so they are i know they still look pretty pathetic but they're growing back so I'm gonna leave them there, see how they do. If they do good, I'll just put them in a shadier, low flow area in my main tank, because I really want them. I don't know why, I really like the color and the the, the look, the trumpet coral or whatever you want to call it. Um, then there's a mushroom in there that I've had for a while. Uh, this guy is new, I believe. Uh, what they call it, a fancy hammer. Um, uh, four heads. And then I believe I had my octo spawn previously, um, but if not, here's the there's a one little head, and then I believe this is two or three heads. But the the octo spawn is really cool. You can tell the the branches are really cool. Uh, and then so another softy. Um, I wasn't gonna keep Zoas, but this guy caught my eye, and they had it on auction, so I started bidding on it, and I ended up winning it. Um, this is a blue rhino, uh, and I like it. It's really cool. Love the blue. It's got deep blue, and then royal blue, and then like a um, lighter blue, and then the green. It's really cool. Um, so I figured I would, I have these already, the Oompa Loompas. So I figured I would get a few more, probably, I'll get probably like about three more uh, Zoas, so I can add them to this rock and just get it full of different colors. And then at that time point, I'll decide what, I want to do with this rock whether I want to put it in my display keep it in QT or sell it I, I don't know but I'll get a few different different colors because those are they're cool I just yeah, I don't know um and then this guy has just gotten overrun with algae I don't know why the snails aren't taking care of it but I really wasn't going to keep it anyway so if it dies it dies uh it actually killed three of my acans and it was trying to kill uh, another one of my corals. This is the most violent coral I've ever had. So I'm, I'm not really concerned that it's dying. Um, and then again, like I have the logo on the GSP. So that is it for an update on my QT. I'll, I'll try and update my display either later today or tomorrow. But um, for now, that's it.